Well, in full disclosure, Kevin and I have been friends for, what, 30 years? Yeah, there's a few decades in there. And in those 30 years, I've watched his career go through some pretty amazing chapters. He and I started working together at the Martin Agency decades ago. You went on to other agency jobs from there. You went to work in the marketing department at State Farm. You went on to lead marketing at the NBA. You're now back here at VCU. So you've done some pretty amazing things, not to mention running the Geico business at Martin. So as you think about what you've seen in your journey through the marketing world, talk about what are your big takeaways? How has it changed? What do you take with you into your job at VCU? I think there are a couple of things there. Um, I, I believe as marketers, especially with MBAs and the, 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 the matrix of traditional packaged goods companies, marketers have complicated the business. Yeah. And one of the things that I learned during my early days of cutting my teeth at the Martin Agency was to how do you really simplify a, a, a brand essence and also make sure the message truly speaks to how differentiating they are and how does that work, that message connect and inspire. Yeah. And is that different from working for an insurance company versus attracting visitors and, and spectators and sponsors for a professional sports league? There are differences by category, Yeah. but the fundamental principle for me has remained the same. And it, it was a mantra that I learned during my days at Martin that I still follow today and I put into practice, which is as a creative marketer, our job is not to give them what they wanted but give them what they never knew they wanted until they saw it. Yeah. With that as a, as a foundation, then you take all of the necessary product information, features and benefits and rational nuances and how you go about your strategy behind your media channels and platforms that you're using. You bake all that in, but it needs to start with a form of inspiration. That's cool. So first is the big idea. 100%. Yeah. So let's follow that thread a little bit. One thing I know about you, is that you are a guy who's about the idea and the work. That's what you're about, right? The yes. process is there to serve a big idea and great work. How do you start from a strategic place to create a great strategic idea and then drive that through amazing execution, amazing creative work? You need great strategy people to help you whittle down to what the nuggets are. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. if you don't have the nuggets of insight, then you can't derive the big idea without it being smoke and mirrors. Yeah. So you have to have the talent and the team thinking about how do you really simplify it and what are the nuggets that are going to make those connections and inspire some level of engagement or action. It goes back to the simplicity of it all. Mm -hmm. The best ideas in, in their core are the simplest ideas. It's interesting though that <clears throat> you're looking not just for a simple idea, but I know about your work and what you've just said is you're looking for something that is not just cooked up in the outside world, but a truth about the organization that you can build around. Is that right? Correct. Absolutely. For, for Geico all those years ago, it was a very simple premise. It was a different way of conducting insurance in the auto category. It was very simple. Yeah. And, and because of the primary reason why, why people cared, it was to save money. It was, very, it was very simple in its ideation. Now, what made that special was how the team rallied around that simple idea and created iconic work. Amazing. To work. tell those stories.